Pedro from EMP Reacts. I'm here today with Emma from Garmarna to talk about their upcoming new album. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a try. Four Bundet. Yeah, Four Bundet. Yes. Okay, I I didn't butcher it, did I? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm always worried. I'm always worried uh, to make sure I get the at least as close uh, as to the correct pronunciation as possible. And, and it comes out November sixth on Season of Mist. Uh, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you. I'm fine. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Everything considering, I'm doing pretty good. Um, I really want to start talking about this record because, and this is on me. I've, I've discovered you guys through this album, so now I have to go back and listen to the previous records because. Uh, I was completely floored with how good this record was, with how many things you guys put into the album. And it's it's just a, an incredible record that you rediscover with every time that you listen to, you find something that you didn't pay attention to it before, and it's there. So the first question that I have for you is, how do you put together a record that has this much life, this much energy, these many elements coming into it? Uh, well, thank you so much uh, for the nice words. Uh, I think this record uh, is for our, for us. This is uh, um, we're going back to the roots here. Uh, we're going to back. We're going back to uh, how our group sounded like uh, many many years ago, uh, and in the same time. Uh, we're, of course, developing our music and uh, sound, and uh, everyone is <laughs> better, better on their instruments now as well. Uh, but I think that uh, this this record is what Garmana is. Uh, this is what we do, and especially Stefan, who's playing the hurdy gurdy and producing the album and he's like the one sitting in the studio and his head is spinning in one million directions and uh, uh, and he is uh, the one who really has been putting his soul into this record and uh, it's really lovely to to see to have this uh, uh, project now uh, and uh, to feel, for me, it feels really good because I'm a folk singer, and to me, this feels like, yeah, this is this is what Garmana, Garmana is all about. Uh, and I don't know if I can explain how <laughs> how how come it sounds as it does, but um, I think we have to thank say thank you to Stefan a lot, uh, the hurdy gurdy player and producer of the band. When you guys went into this record, did you guys have like a roadmap? Did you guys sit down and, and, and discuss what you wanted out of this album beforehand? Or as the songs start to come together, you kind of realize what the album was going to be like? Uh, the thing is, the tunes on this album has been traveling with us for many years. Uh, uh, some of them we started to play live uh, 20 years ago uh, and but we never the, never recorded them uh, and then we stopped playing for a while and uh, then we did a, a CD that was released 2016 uh, and when we were working on that CD we kind of decided to put the traditional material on the side and save these tunes for another CD. So the one that we released 2016 was uh, only new written material, almost. And then we saved everything that was traditional for this release. And uh, so, so it has been, we've been playing some of them, we've been recording, we've been re-recording, we've been uh, thinking about uh, uh, like mel the melodies for the singing and the melodies for the uh, instrumental parts and it has had many years to develop and has many 
might know uh, we did people has been waiting for this CD for a long time because we did a Kickstarter thing to to fund it and it was years ago so people have been waiting and waiting and now finally they will get to the result but we're very pleased with the result and I hope that everyone else will be as well well I, I can tell them right now having had a chance to listen multiple times, uh, the result is fantastic. So uh, the, the wait uh, was worth it because you, you you guys really put an incredible album together, not just from a sound perspective, but all the elements, the structure of the record, the sound, the vocals, how everything flows. And, and that's my next question for you. I felt that this album allows you to get lost in it. You find the breadcrumbs throughout. So you always find your path from song to song all the way to the end of the record. But it, it's a record that almost flows seamless from track to track to track. H how much thought process went from you guys in, in putting the album with this track listing that gives the listener this 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 path? Yeah, actually, I uh, the the I, when I listened to it the first time from the start to the end when it was like decided this is how it's going to be, I was. I was so happy because I didn't I wasn't really aware of that uh, that what was happening uh, all uh, uh, as I said before it's Stefan uh, the Hurdy-Gurdy player who is like he when we have done our parts when I've done my singing we've recorded together and everything then he sits uh, for quite a long time and with his ideas and uh, and uh, the from start to end, how they put it together, I think that Stefan's uh, mind <laughs> who who made that, and and uh, I was very uh, both surprised and uh, uh, and happy to hear what he had been doing while I didn't listen. Because yeah. I was listening to the record, and I didn't have. Uh, the track listing in front of me. I was uh, walking around the house listening to the album and at one point I had to walk up to to see what track I was in because I, I completely lost track of where I was. I was like, did I hear three songs already or is this the fourth <laughs> song? Be because the, the album just has this perfect movement from song to song that it just flows uh, seamless. So kudos to him for putting an album together that even though it has multiple songs, it almost feels like just like one really long track. Yeah, yeah, I love that. I love that. And it's thank you to Stefan. For, for it. Uh, if, if, if you were talking to somebody who's never heard this album before and you had to describe this album uh, fr from a sound perspective, how would you describe the sound on the album? I would say that it is... Uh... It's based on very traditional folk, uh, Scandinavian folk uh, songs or ballads, like medieval ballads. Uh, and it has, the ballads has been dressed in, uh, in uh, the clothes of, uh, of more modern uh, sounds. But still, with uh, with the uh, oh my god, the English is hard today. <laughs> uh, I, I, it, it's it, it, do you feel like there is a mixture of the old world with the new world? Because um, because listening to the album, I felt like you guys did a wonderful job incorporating the old world in terms of the hurdy gurdy, the violin, the more traditional sounds, yeah. with then electronic sounds, which is more of the new world. And, and that balance was absolutely perfect. Uh, it, it, do you feel like that is the, the winning formula for this record? Yeah, I think so. And I think we have done this before as well on the records Good Spielemen and Via der Jelningen. I would say that they are very close to this record as well. Uh, they're like, they are siblings. <laughs> uh, and uh, uh, I think uh, that uh, we, we do... We've done on this record the same thing, the mixture of the old traditional root music with the new, uh, more electronic uh, uh, musical world. 
uh, and uh, I think maybe it has taken one a little a, a small step uh, further than on the on uh, Via de Gällningen that is uh, a CD that we released in '99, uh, but it's uh, very close to what we were doing there. So I think actually it's like we that's what we do we mix traditional medieval ballad singing with and hurdy-gurdies and you know uh, with uh, a, a sound uh, landscape that is from today <laughs> yeah it, 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 was, it was it was really interesting for me because i felt that what you guys did with the with the electronic side of the sound was very interesting because you didn't allow it to completely overshadow the more medieval side of, of the the sound that you guys wanted to create and some tracks i had to almost close my eyes and try to really focus on the electronic elements so that i could hear them because they were so hidden amongst everything else they were just a thin layer underneath the track but that thin layer created such a beautiful atmosphere and allowed everything else to kind of become a little bit bigger yeah. uh, do, do you see it the same way yeah i think you explained it quite good <laughs> 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 it, it, it was just such a, for me at least, it, I felt like it was such a, a weird mix because when I think of hurdy-gurdy, when I think of violins, when I think of folk, electronic is not necessarily the next thing that comes to my mind. No. You, you know what I mean? So I, I, I felt that those two worlds are so far apart, but somehow you guys are able to bring them to the table. Thank you. <laughs> it's, it's just, you, you guys absolutely blew me away with just the ability to do that, you guys. Completely blew me away. As far as your vocals are concerned, did you put in specific work coming into this record? Was there something that you did perhaps differently from previous albums? Or is it pretty much the same approach as before? The singing, yeah, it's it's the same approach. Uh, it might be a bit more, uh, uh, what you call that, choruses uh, yeah. uh, than, than we used to do which is really nice i think i like that uh but i am like i'm doing my thing i'm you, you, I, if you would undress the the music and just leave me in the middle without anything else it would be just a traditional medieval ballad mm -hmm. but then when you put on the 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 dress that stefan uh, more and the the band everyone has been putting their little dress on the song and uh, uh well that's that's how it works for us and then oh, stefan okay. is the main yeah, sorry, sorry no no i'm just <laughs> i'm just uh, trying to talk <laughs> No, I, I listened to the record. Your, your vocals were exceptional. I felt that you were... The, the album was built around you. At least that's the perception that I have. Yeah. Uh, the songs were really built for you, around you. Uh, you were on the, drive, the driver's seat of the record and everybody else was in the back seat kind of just coming along for the ride. Yeah, I, I guess that's true because the songs are the main... Like the, the stories that they tell as well. That might be hard for you to... But the stories and the songs are the the root, the heart, the heart, the, soul. the heart and soul. Yeah, and but they need they need the the environment. Yeah, that everything has been that goes for them. Was there a song on this record that created perhaps a little bit of a challenge for you that? Going in, maybe you didn't think it was going to be as challenging to record it, but it gave you a little bit of trouble, or was smooth sailing? I have to think now. It, it was a while since we recorded it. <laughs> since it has been taking a, a, a years for it to be released. Um, Or is there a song that you that you enjoy performing more than others that gives that perhaps has a, a deeper connection with you? I, one of my favorites are the the two sisters. Uh, I think the second tune on the album. Uh, it it is a 
an old uh, myth about uh, two sisters and one sister is, is uh, killing the other one and uh, uh, there is an this story is you can find it in in america and ireland and scotland and uh, sweden and norway and denmark you can find it everywhere uh, and there's a musician building he finds her body in the in the sea the dead woman and he makes a harp of her body and uh, goes to the wedding and plays on this harp and the harp reveals the the what happened mm -hmm. uh, and first of all i i love the story i've been singing many different versions of that uh, ballad in other bands uh, and uh, then i i just i just love uh, what happened to that song when we recorded it 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 uh, be, it became mysterious and uh, in the same time uh, groovy and well, I, I cannot really explain this but that's one of my absolute favorites and I also like Sven i Rosengård very much uh, and I think what what uh, what is so strong for me with this CD is that it is like the 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 tradition that I come from the tradition that I sing uh, that we can bring on stage with so much uh, more heaviness and uh, give it like give these words make these words live again <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah bring the stories back to life again o yeah. almost like yeah. reintroducing them to a new generation yeah exactly thank you <laughs> well, one of my favorite songs was the closing track on the album din grav i'm probably butchering the name but uh i i love that track i thought that it put your vocals in the forefront it's a song that really revolves around you and how you perform it. it, and it's such an impactful track. I don't understand a word of it, but I felt very emotional listening to it because it, it had a, a lot of emotion built in, not just to, to the sound, but in how you delivered the song. Was there a special reason to close off the record with that track? Yeah, it, it, that track was actually... Uh, it was like a little tale for another song uh, that we recorded on the previous album, but uh, we didn't use it. And then it was left and, and uh, Stefan brought it up again uh, when we were uh, going to record this, uh, this album. And... Uh, it it is very much an ending song. <laughs> uh, it couldn't have been on any other place, I think, on the album. So yeah, absolutely, it is uh, where it is, where it fits the best. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, that's actually there are two new written songs on on this album, and that's one of them. So it's it's me and Stefan who who made it together. Yeah, it, it's a beautiful track, and it, it really feels like the, the curtain coming down. You know what I mean? Like, the it's the end of the show. It's the, the curtain is coming down. It's the, it has that sense of finality to it. And it's it's a song, in my opinion, the album puts you through an emotional roller coaster as you're going through it. And then when you get to this song at the end, it's almost like it's squeezing the last energy that you have left. Like, you cannot give any more. You've given yeah. all you've got. Yeah, it's the end. It's definitely it, in. It's called well, Din Grav means your grave, so it's it's the end. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely the end. There's no coming back from that. No. Uh, I have one more question for you, and that is now that the album is around the corner, November six comes out on Season of Mist. Long time waiting for this day, but the day is coming. What are your expectations for this record? We hope that uh, our old fans will love it and we hope that we will reach new fans as well uh, that will love it and we, we of, of course we would love to tour it all over the world we just hope that the world will, will open uh, someday soon 
and then we will tour this record and uh, hopefully it will be played and loved and uh, and put us on tour yeah well i want to thank you very much and you were talking about new fans well you definitely have a new fan now because i i fell in love with this record i absolutely i mean i didn't i didn't have any expectations going in but the moment i pressed play, like this is this is me I, I i love the folk aspect of it i love what you guys did with the instruments from that side i love the inclusion of the electronic side of, into it but it, in such a such a a perfect kind of way because it doesn't take anything away from the folkiness that the record has and then your voice was just the uh, cherry on top thank you so much it's lovely to hear your words about the cd well i absolutely love it and like i said it, you have at least one new fan uh with Ooh. this record i wish you guys all the best thank you very much for your time today and uh, stay safe and stay healthy thank you